Hey golfers, Britt Sherrock here, and today is lesson three of our three-part series for pitching and chipping. In this last lesson, we're gonna focus on the uphill pitch shot that's about 20 to 30 yards. We wanna drive in low, put a little backspin on it, and uh, we're faced with this shot here on the 17th green at Cowboys Golf Club. Let's check it out. Okay, golfers, let's go over the setup keys for this low pitch shot. First off, I'm using my 56 degree wedge, which is my second lofted wedge in the bag. This helps me hit some really low shots and put a little backspin on it if I want to. The setup is very similar to our bump and run shot. We need to have a fairly narrow stance, ball position in the back of our stance, weight forward. Uh, if you'll notice uh, down the line here, my front foot is a little bit back of my back foot. This is gonna help me be a little bit open to the target. Again, I wanna line my hands up to my lead shoulder and have a square face. Those are the setup keys. Let's go over the technique next. Okay, golfers, let's go over the technique for the low pitch shot. I'm gonna give you a three word phrase that's gonna help you be consistent with this shot. That's drag, lag, release. Let me repeat that, drag, lag, release. The drag portion comes in the backswing when we take the club back. What we wanna do is drag the club back, keeping it fairly low to the ground. We don't wanna add any extra wrist hinge here and get the club up in the air. We also wanna make sure that the club stays outside our hands and doesn't get inside. The lag portion is in the downswing. What we wanna feel there is that our hands break, or wrists break a little bit, let the club lag behind you, and that's gonna create a steep attack angle into the golf ball and put a little backspin on that ball as well. The release is the last step. Just like we talked about in the high pitch shot, we have to release the club to complete the swing. So when we release that club, we want to come to kind of an abrupt stop where the club lines up to our lead shoulder. You can continue to turn to the target, but we don't want that club to pass our hands too much. That can create some bad miss hits. Okay, let's give it a shot. All right guys, that's the low pitch shot. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks.